and this short video I've made is on uh, determining or choosing an anchorage area for dropping the anchor and what are the factors to be considered for doing so. So the first factor that you will consider for choosing an anchorage area is the seabed uh, because the bottom should be clear of any cables, pipelines or fall ground. Make sure that you also check your charts. The holding power of the seabed should be very good. The holding power is good if the seabed is soft and the soil is cohesive in nature. The best seabed is clay, which is soft for the anchor to dig in deeply and cohesive at the same time. The relative holding power of firm sand is considered as 1, clay is 1.5, mud is 0.5, a loose coarse sand 0.3, gravel 0.3 and rocky is 0. So it's hard to anchor uh, in, on seabeds which have a rocky or a gravel or a loose coarse sand uh, as the seabed. So clay falls somewhere in the high range and that's why it's suitable for the anchor to be dropped and also to hold onto the seabed. The second factor that we considered is uh, whether that anchorage area is sheltered or semi-sheltered. So an anchor is designed to hold the ship firmly in a sheltered or semi-sheltered area only. In open seas, it is not advisable to anchor as far as possible. The swell of the open sea keeps a constant pressure on the anchor chain and shifts it almost continuously. It is possible with moderate to heavy swell that the anchor will not even hold. So when in open sea, try to avoid anchoring as far as possible unless it's an emergency. Open sea, that's why you will see the normal practice is to drift around, especially if you are waiting for the pilot or if there has been any delays in your ship in going to the port. The third factor that we consider in choosing an anchorage area is the depth of the water available to us. So the depth of the water at anchoring position should not be too shallow or too deep. In very shallow water, it is possible that at slack water, the anchor flukes are just underneath the keel of the vessel and there is a damage to the keel as the vessel pitches or rolls in the swell. As the underkeel clearance of the vessel will be very small in shallow waters, the tidal stream of current increases in strength as the water passes under the keel. The vessel in this case may start to drag the anchor. In very deep water, the chain may not make a small angle with the seabed and in heavy weather, it will lift up from the seabed easily as the holding power of the anchor is reduced. Moreover, anchor is walked back in deep water instead of letting go and therefore anchor does not dig in deeper and holding power is reduced. So walking back anchor means lowering the anchor under power, whereas letting go the anchor is letting it go purely by gravity or letting loose of the brake. The next factor is swinging room available. So the swinging circle of the vessel must be calculated when choosing an anchorage area. It is particularly important in congested waters. Swinging circle can be easily calculated by simply adding up the length of the cable to be paid out and the length of the vessel. It will be theoretically slightly larger than the actual swinging circle, hence giving the vessel a margin of safety. The length of the cable to be paid out, of course, depends on the depth of the water. Finally, the last factor that we should be considering in choosing an anchorage area is the position checking methods available to us. There should be some reference points or marks available to facilitate approach to anchorage area as well as for checking the position of the vessel at anchorage. The marks may be radar conspicuous or even visual. So they should be fixed objects like lighthouses or islands or uh, any other conspicuous land based objects could be transit points, but uh, recons so that you can use it for position checking methods to determine if your vessel is holding anchor after dropping anchorage. So this was a short video on determining the factors that uh, influence our choice of an anchorage area. Let me know what you thought about this video. Bye.